Hello, I'm Anthony Gismondi, and we're on the road with the Vancouver Sun in the Okanagan Valley. In just a few moments, we'll meet with owner Mick Luckhurst and winemaker J.M. Bouchard at Road 13, and we'll explore a very special terroir here on the Golden Mile Bench. Hey, hi, Mick. Hey, Tony. <coughs> How welcome. are you? Good. Welcome to Road 13. Yeah. Wow. What a spectacular view. The Golden Mile Bench. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people talk about the bench now that it's a it's a special place, maybe a small subregion. What, what can you tell us about the origins and how it was set up? Mount Kobo is an extinct uh, volcano here behind us, and right. it's left off millennium ago okay. to form the soils on the bench. They're heavier. There's jagged uh, volcanic type rock, mm -hmm. unlike the rest of the valley, more sand and gravel. Yeah. So uh, soil is always important when it comes to the varieties that you plant. So w what's happening here at Road 13? Uh, we have a number of varieties. Pinot yeah. Noir, Chardonnay, Chenin Blanc would be yeah. the three that are pretty iconic with us, I and, would say. And Chenin Blanc, you're very well known for that. It's, it's an older uh, planting. Here. It is. 1968, some of the first vinifera grown yeah. in the valley. And it just didn't. It's a beautiful part of the farm and makes an awesome wine. Yeah. Yeah. So soil and uh, variety grapes, do you have a uh, style that you can encapsulate for us at Road 13? Or? Uh, well, for that, I think we should talk to the winemaker, Jim Bouchard. Okay, well, let's go meet him. Tony, you know Jam. Hey, Jam. Good to see you. Nice to see you, Tony. Yeah, Mick, thanks so much. I'll uh, see you down in the vineyard shortly. See you in a bit. Okay, great. JM, well, I, I talked to Mick about the site in the Golden Mile, uh, but I'm interested how you can express the style here at, at Road 13. The style is to deliver what's in the vineyard in the bottle. So we're very gentle all through the process. We use basket press with the reds. We use little amount of oak and always look for gentle oak yeah. treatment. I love this new one, K74, yeah. and uh, it's a mix of varieties. That's correct. There's so nine varieties. Nine different there. grapes. And yeah. you, why do you use so many? It helped me to be more consistent from year to year and deliver yeah. something that is delicious. Yeah. And if you want to, uh, what's maybe the best way to express the purity of the site or the well, here? Why don't we have a look? I have a single vineyards Pinot. So this is Tony, the single vineyard, castle vineyard, just from here. Mm -hmm. And this wine show the elegance and purity from the vineyards here. I can smell the golden mile a bit. There's purity, elegance, and power. Mm. And beautiful fruit. Lovely yeah. black cherry. Uh, well, JM, really great to uh, try these two. I'm going to go down and uh, catch up with Mick. I want to have a look at those old vine Chenin Blanc. I know you like those. They are my little babies. I love them. Oh, great. Thanks for your time. Nice to see you. Okay. Well, Mick, this is where it all began. Yep, ground zero. This is the Chenin Blanc I was telling you about. Yeah. Boy, I sure love these old vines. Uh, I have so much respect for them. Uh, things are really rolling out smoothly here at Road 13. Is the, are you on the track or the plan or the path? Well, we've grown. Uh, we've started at 4,000 cases. We now peaked at 30,000 cases. It's allowed us to explore a lot of really interesting wines mm -hmm. and to attract top wine makers, makers like J.M. Bouchard. Uh, and I noticed J.M. in the winery was dialing in now on certain sites in the vineyard, so there's a, there's a lot more to come from Road 13. He's very terroir driven. J.M. is focusing on other small vineyards terroir to make us some special small lot top tier wines and just make yeah. a, just a huge different tasting experience. Well, you live on the estate. Your son Joseph's come back Back to the business so uh, it's a legacy it's going to be passed on uh, is that working out exactly how you had hoped it is we uh, we love living here we love the lifestyle uh, our youngest son Joe has uh, bought into it as well and yeah. 50 years from now maybe he can come here and these vines will be 95 years old wouldn't that be something we'd be proud yeah uh, Mick thanks so much really we've had an enjoyable visit here on the Golden Mile bench and of course at Road 13 uh, good luck uh, as you uh, move forward well thanks for having us on Tony yeah great so, a uh, fantastic day here again in the South Okanagan, this time uh, over on the west side on the Golden Mile Bench. As we said before, uh, you really need to get a hotel room, spend a couple days down here to explore the vineyards and the wineries and really uh, soak up what I think is uh, really a modern look at winemaking in British Columbia. <laughs>